and we are going to see how to create question banks questions question groups and assignments msq and mcq assignments here first login with the course id and go to the course dashboard go to asserts in asserts go to questions and for adding a multiple choice question click the tab add multiple choice This is the page which you have seen when you click the add multiple choice question and go to rich text and type the question here. I'm already having the questions here. I'm just pasting the question. You can give the description here as uh, first we are creating assignment for week 1 so I am giving as week 1 question 1 this is for your reference to group it easier you can name it as the assignment name or the week name you can give it as week 1 question 1 or else you can give us assignment 1 question 1 for your reference. I am giving it as week 1 question 1 and in selection select allow only one selection this is for multiple choice question if it is a multiple select question you can choose the option allow multiple selections first we are doing multiple choice questions if you select this you will be getting a radio button here here you can select only one answer if you are selecting multiple select you will be getting a checkbox here for selecting more than one or one, one or two answers first allow only one selection and give the answers here in rich text give the answers If you have only three choices, delete one choice. If you have more than four choices, then click this add a choice and add your choices. Select the answer here. Here the answer is first one, die. So I have selected this radio button. And if you want to see this course, you can check assign scores to individual questions. Here you can see for the correct answer, it is defaultly taking it as one and for the wrong answer, it is zero. Please be sure that whether this is always 1 or 0 or you can give negative marks to here uh, when we are creating a question group we will be giving a weightage there that weightage will get multiplied with this with the marks of this correct option if you are giving 1 here and the weightage as 2 then it will get multiplied and it will gives 2 points to each questions so be sure when you are giving the marks and be planned before giving the marks otherwise the assignment get marks more than 100 or 200 then there will be an error and the students will be writing mails to us this is the way we are giving a multiple choice question if it is a multiple select question then it will there will be a radio button 
you can check one or more answers in the check box here if it is to answer to see the score go to assign score you will be seeing as 0 0.5 0 0.5 it is defaultly assigning a half marks to each answer since we have selected two answers we will see what happen if we are selecting three answers Then the marks will get split up into 0 0.33, 0 0.33 and 0 0.33. Otherwise you can change the marks here. This is for multiple select questions. Thus I have created a week 1 question 1 question. This is the one question which we have created here and save this. If the assignment is having 10 questions, you have to create each questions here one by one. All the 10 questions like the same way. Go Again go to question, add the second question in the same format. And again go to question add the third question in the same format the questions we will add, we are adding will be displaying here you can see week one as a question one the question which we have created here We can create one more question so that we can see how to group this all questions in single assignments. We are creating a single single questions. Uh, if the assignment is having 10 questions, we are creating a, a each question here and we are grouping it in a question group so that all the 10 questions will be displayed in a single assignment. Again go to add multiple choice question. second question we can use a, a mathematical type question if you are having mathematical formula type question we can use a latex format here go to insert item that will be a red color box google course builder component select the google course builder component will be seeing a drop down here here you can upload video google group or embedded core or anything you can the spreadsheet anything you can give here in the component type for giving mathematical formula select gcb mathematical formula you will be giving this you will be seeing this window mathematical formula text this is for latex format here you can give your mathematical formula I have some formula I will give it here and save then you will be seeing this symbol 
this is the indication of latex mathematical formula type question and I am giving the description as V2 V1 question 2 We are going to see how we are going to prove this question. Question 1 and question 2 in a single assignment. Go to assets. Below here you can see a tab add question group. Go to add question group. Here in description I am giving V1 Assignment 1 This is for our reference If you want to check the questions or change some question We can use this description and easily identify the questions in each assignment Then click the tab add a question here you can add the question from the drop down whatever questions we are created in the questions we will be seeing this in the drop down now we have to add week 1 question 1 as first question giving the weightage as 1 this weightage will get multiplied with the marks given in the questions for correct answer if you are giving 1 for correct answer and weightage as 1 then it will be 1 point we are giving weightage as 2 it will get multiplied with that marks and we will be getting 2 points for this question then to add a second question select add question and select the next question from the drop down week 1 question 2 if you are having 10 or more questions in an assignment we can uh, add the questions add each questions in the questions and then group the questions in a single assignment using this question group and giving the weightage as 1 for this question and save now we are going to see how we are going to add this question group in a assignment go to the course dashboard and we will be having a tab add assessment click add assessment
once you click the add assessment tab you will be getting this page assessment entity here you can give the title for the assessment I am giving it as assignment 1 Then you can select the parent unit under which unit the assignment is going to be displayed. I am giving it in the unit 2 assignment testing so that the assignment which we created will be displayed under this unit. Always keep this weightage inside the assignment as 1. Don't change this. Then an assessment content go to rich text. Go to insert item, select this, go insert Google Ghost Builder component, red color box. Then in the component type, select GCB question group. Then in question group, select the group which you have created. We have created a question group week 1 assi assignment. Well, whatever groups which we have created in the asset which will be displayed here in the drop down, you can select the question groups. For your easy access, you can create all the ass assignment questions and question groups before itself and you can select the question, question group once you have created the assignment for each week. I am selecting week 1 assignment 1 and saving the option. You will be seeing this image group here. Then if you want to enable the check answer button, you can enable it. If you are enabling this check answer button, Students can able to check the answer by clicking the check answers so that they will be changing their answers again and again. It is for only checking purpose. If you are disabling it, there will be no check answer button in the assignment. We have to give the submission due date here. give the time in the UTC format number of submission always keep this as submit only once so that the students can able students cannot able to submit the assignments again and again if you are selecting allow multiple submissions then they can submit more than one time and the marks will be calculated for their last submissions MCQs are always automatic grading if you are giving negative marking in the assignments, you can enable this negative marking. Then you can save the option. Status should be private unless you are going to publish the assignment. If you are going to publish the assignment for week 1, then you can make it as public. We have created the assignment below you need to assignment check click this assignment to view the questions which we have created see the question which we have created here for latex type questions 
it will be displaying this mathematical formula since we have selected as latex you can see this message you may submit any number of times since we have selected all multiple submission you can see the due date here and i have given the weightage as 2 so it is taking as 2 points Once the students submit the answer, there will be a message displaying like this. Thank you for taking the assignment check. Thus, this is the way we are creating a multiple choice questions and multiple select questions, and adding the questions in a assignment.